Do you need a knee extension exercise? Are you struggling to straighten the knee? Is it painful when you try? If this sounds familiar, then in this video, I am going to show you two simple home exercises that will reduce your pain and discomfort while allowing you to increase your knee straightening abilities. Let's do it. What's up everyone, Cairo Carl here. So you've got a painful knee, a knee that doesn't want to straighten, a knee that maybe hurts more after you've been kneeling down. If that sounds familiar, then we really need to get in and straighten that knee as much as possible to restore motion, reduce pain, and allow you to function to the level that you want to. So should you be doing these specific knee exercises? Well, if your knee feels better as you're doing the exercises, and following the exercise, then yes, definitely do these exercises. If your knee feels worse as you do these exercises, but feels better following the exercises, then yes, do these exercises, but do it slowly and steadily. We don't wanna to move too much into pain. Or if your knee feels worse as you do the exercises and worse after the exercises, then no, this is not the exercise for you you need to find something that works more for you. Better yet, choose a medical provider who can give you tailored care to make sure your recovery is exactly how it should be. So the first of our two exercises, we are going to need to sit in a nice firm surface. So you can choose a chair or a chiropractic table if that's something that you have. Now this technique is taken from the McKenzie method and we are gonna do this nice and slowly, making sure that we don't increase pain too much as we do this exercise. If you haven't already done so and you want to support a growing YouTuber, hit that subscribe button, tap the like, share this video with your friends, let me know that this content is valuable to you and I will keep making it for you. So with this first exercise, what we're going to be doing is actually sitting on our nice firm surface and we're going to have our problem knee side. We're going to straighten the knee as much as we can. Now I know that's going to be difficult in the beginning, but work with me. We're going to straighten the knee. We're going to take it as far as we can towards the pain. Don't go deep into the pain. Once that discomfort starts to build, we don't really want to go above a three or a four out of 10 on the pain scale. Now, we're gonna hold that position. And then we're gonna hold it for four to five seconds. And we're gonna drop the leg back down, let those muscles relax and then we're going to repeat. Now, each time we repeat this exercise, what we're actually going to be doing is moving slightly further into the pressure, into the pain, and the knee will begin to straighten. Now, as we're doing this, you might come to a point where you think, I just can't force that knee any straighter. I can't get that knee to be straighter without more pressure. And as long as the pain isn't getting too high, we can actually start to cheat and apply a little bit more over pressure. So we've got two options here. Either we can place our leg onto a raised surface in front of us, and then as the leg is more parallel to the floor, we can apply pressure above the knee. This is onto that quad muscle above the knee downwards. And this is gonna create a lot more of that overpressure. Again, we're holding for that four to five seconds and we're gonna repeat it 10 times just like we did when it was just in the air. Alternatively from here, if you don't have another surface that you can use, you can slide your bum forwards, place your heel on the floor, and we're going to apply that overpressure down and towards the heel that is actually on the floor, as you can see in this video. Now we're gonna repeat this 10 times. We are going to do it towards the pain, into the pain, but not beyond a three or a four out of 10 on the pain scale. And we're gonna repeat this every two to three hours throughout the day. Now you can repeat this exercise hourly if your knee isn't recovering very quickly. We want to make sure that the movement is there and the quality of movement is there. However, if your knee is recovering more quickly, then you can actually do this every two to three hours and repeat as necessary. Now to further work on strengthening the muscles that are needed to straighten the knee, then what I'm going to do is actually utilize a power band. Now you can see which power bands I use in my description below if you wanna check those out. Now that band needs to be tied off to something nice and secure, and it's going to be at the level of your knee. 
So we're going to step through the band and have that band just behind the knee. So we're facing our anchor point where the band is tied off. From here, we're going to take a little step backwards. We're going to come backwards to allow that band to increase its tension and create more pressure for you to work against. Now from here, we are going to make sure that that foot is planted into the floor as we extend our knee backwards and straighten the knee with that band pressure. We're doing this slowly for a count of three or four seconds into that straight position, holding it for three to four seconds and then controlling the out as we come out of that exercise for three to four seconds. Now, we are going to repeat this exercise 10 to 15 times, and I would be doing it towards the end of my exercises. This is more of an accessory work to make sure that our problem knee is nice and strong moving forwards. So with this exercise, what we're going to do is repeat this exercise for 15 to 20 reps. We're going to do four sets. We're going to do it every single day, and we're going to repeat this until your knee feels stronger, more controlled, more stable, and then you can reduce this exercise down. So if your knee feels like it needs to pop and crack, we might actually have a tibial rotation problem. Now, if that's the case, then I've done a previous video already where I can help you restore motion to a problem just like that. Alternatively, this video right here might be exactly the one you're looking for. And if you haven't already done so, hit the like, tap subscribe, click the bell icon. I'll see you next time.